Bonjour YouTube. Euh, voilà, Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, bien sûr. Et nous sommes partis, messieurs, dames. Nous sommes partis. On est-il par Let's go. C'est parti. Ok. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered streamer, it so hein. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been... La pièce de stream, bien sûr. Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alors, ok. Euh, pour la première run, pour montrer un peu si vous connaissez pas, euh, si vous connaissez pas le jeu, je vais suivre exactement ce que va me dire le narrateur. On aura une fin du coup, et ensuite on va recommencer, et ensuite on va pas l'écouter. Et là on va l'écouter complètement tout ce qu'il dit, ok All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. A Webedia, quoi? Let's go. Let's go, quoi? Webedia, let's go. Tellement ça, quoi? Le son du narrateur est très faible, quoi? Mais non. C'est bullshit, ça. Chez toi, ça. Ouais. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Je crois que c'est une des premières fois dans le jeu où tu as vraiment un choix où tu peux choisir de ne pas l'écouter ou pas. Et là on va full l'écouter. On va full l'écouter tranquille quoi. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave Tips not for getting fired. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. T'as plein de petits easter eggs à la con. Hein. C'est un jeu qui est très portalesque, on va dire. La carabale est... On va pas rentrer là-dedans, ça. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Okay, su suivons ce qu'il dit. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ok. Rire de droite. Hein. Hop, 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 hop. Bonjour. C'est vraiment Webadia. Hein. Si vous y êtes jamais allé, c'est exactement comme ça. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known. Peur ou pas non. The keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Uh -huh. 2845. But of course, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Allons-y. Ah, c'est une merveille. Et c'est encore mieux après quand tu... Quand tu fais pas ce qu'il te dit... Euh... Euh, je sais plus, il faut aller là-dedans I guess. Ouais, c'est vraiment le jeu du backseat absolu. Hein. Tu te fais backseat tout le long. Une vraie expérience, une vraie expérience. 
Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. <laughs> Pensez à lui, par lui-même. When for years it had never occurred to him, this question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." Mind Control Facility. Le contrôle des pensées là. C'est 1984 le. J'appuie sur le gros bouton là. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Hmm. Stanley thought to himself. Did he have Une vraie to, to find out? Euh, je pense qu'il faut appuyer là-dessus. Now oui. the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Mais non. For the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place mm. where freedom meant nothing. Literally, Squid Game. Ah, le jeu est très saucisse. Hein. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Fire. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy tu with imagine? his job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Impossible. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Ah, je me souviens de ça. Here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Hmm. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Control mental absent en attente de donner. Vas-y, on désactive, hein. du coup, c'est ce que veut le narrateur, hein. donc c'est ce qu'on va faire. Hein. C'est ce qu'on fait, hein. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let, let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Il y a un petit côté. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. J'ai fini le jeu. Merci pour le live. New path before him. Bravo. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. C'était un jeu de fou, hein. C'était incroyable. C'était incroyable. Merci à tous d'avoir regardé ce live, bien sûr. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup.
évidemment. Merveilleux. Ah. Ok. Donc là, c'est exactement la même chose qu'au début. On sort, et voilà. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Donc là. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Non. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Hmm. Ah, On va essayer de le baiser, hein. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Donc il veut qu'on passe par là. Non. Non. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Hmm, hey, je me souviens de cette pièce. Je crois. Look Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. Yeah, ça commence. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Non, je vais pas le faire maintenant, euh, le saut. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Et de qui parle-t-il Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. C'est quoi l'objectif Faire ce que tu veux. Faire ce que tu veux, globalement. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Si je réponds pas au téléphone, qu'est-ce qui se passe Il va juste sonner. Est-ce que si je, je peux le brancher As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Oui. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Bah avec mes mains. Actually, chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Désolé. Double check. Non mais No, it's definitely here clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. Ah non. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not... Ah, ça me dit rien, ça c'est nouveau ça, non Je sais plus. How had I not noticed it sooner You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Oui. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is ah non, pas nouveau, okay. make correct and incorrect Putain, choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Oui, la vidéo. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember, burger, like here, monsieur. the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought 
Then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and Tellement vrai, quoi? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Moi, je prends des décisions tout le temps. Perso, je sais pas vous. Making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. <laughs> But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision-making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Il va rien se passer si je, si je reste là. Si je fais vraiment de nimp. Non, je peux rien faire. Ah non, faut vraiment y aller, quoi. Ok, ok, ok. Et maintenant We know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. Okay. That story no. would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with pas the Attends, il me ramène au début là, ce bâtard. Mais je veux pas. Et maintenant Bah alors Je peux m'accroupir Ah oui, je peux m'accroupir, oui. Mais je peux pas. Je peux... Ah, j'aurais pu m'accroupir là-bas. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real. La porte à gauche. On va prendre une autre porte, hein. Si c'est possible. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <coughs> Vas-y. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Je peux pas aller ailleurs. J'aime bien comment ça part en couille. Hein. Non. Ah non, je veux aller par là. Hein. Ah mais il se passe rien là si je veux là. Let me in Ok. Je peux pas revenir dans mon bureau, non. Bon, vas-y. After everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? <laughs> For what? What did you get out of <laughs> that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it... It's worthless now! And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To no. No, 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 no,
What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No. I have to. Ne coupe pas le jeu. Il y a vraiment un feeling portal quoi vraiment. Le jeu est détruit. C'était la seule chose dans le monde qui était mine et vous l'avez mis dans le sol. Qu'est-ce que tu pensais que ce serait funny Tu as juste dû voir Je n'ai pas impressé sur vous comment important il était de être comme Stanley. Il sait en fait comment faire ce que je lui dis. Il comprend que si je dis de faire quelque chose, il y a une bonne raison pour ça. Cette pensée n'a pas encore pensé à vous, elle a t Que il y a un monde dans le monde de vous Vous êtes un enfant. Oh, merci. On me dit tout le temps que je suis vieux. Mais on l'a déjà vu. Ah. Mais je vais pas le refaire. Mais oui, mais bien sûr. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <coughs> When Stanley came to a set of two open mm. doors, he entered mm. the door on his left. No. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Mm. ...behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my Petit bâtard. Je vais retenter une dernière fois à droite. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Ouais, okay. This behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibility. No! Et si effectivement je ne fais rien. Si je ne prends aucune de ces deux portes. Si je, si je ne bouge pas. Si je ne branle rien. Je ne peux pas sortir par là. Mais si je ne fous rien. Qu'est-ce qui se passe si je branle rien là Je vais profiter pour remercier quelques subs. Quoi Merci tout fait Zawardo pour les, les 8 mois. Mebesan, les 3 mois, Shaisuki, euh, les 4 mois, euh, Guema, 93, les 17 mois, Unicorn Acid, les 8 mois, Roseira, les 2 mois, Badreazen, les 13 mois, Benoît Clox, les 9 mois, merci beaucoup. Si je fais ça, je peux pas fermer les portes Ah, je peux rien faire. Hein. En fait, c'est typiquement le genre de jeu, tu te dis, euh, peut-être que si j'attends une heure, euh, il va se passer un truc, tu vois. Ils ont peut-être prévu cette, cette, cette possibilité. Bon, vas-y, attends. Ok. Mais on va, on va pas l'écouter ensuite. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, on pouvait descendre tout à l'heure. Upstairs to his boss's office. Merde, non. Hmm. Il y a un succès à ne pas jouer pendant 10 ans. Putain, je crois que je l'ai pas eu. Ah, mais c'est nouveau. Ça a changé. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Ça a changé. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Non, c'est la même chose. Non, non, c'était rouge tout à l'heure. Lay all the answers to his questions, and beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Euh, je dois dire quelque chose 
Oui Euh... Quoi Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver. Night Shark 115. Attends, y'a pas de micro dans le jeu. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Mais... You didn't mishear me, did you? Je le dis Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise we can't get on with the story. Bah oui, mais... This is a crucial step. Night Shark 115. Please. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? Oui. You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. Ah. You could have done whatever the hell Quoi? you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Mais non, tu m'as obligé. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Quoi? Are you listening to pourquoi me? Pourquoi j'ai un générique? Can you hear me? Mais non, mais pourquoi j'ai un générique? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is. Fin numéro 2 de la soirée. Ah, c'est une des, c'est une des fins celle-là. I need this. Parce que c'est le jour de jouit, mais un générique de fin en fait, c'est pas la fin. So, you hear me? Il y en a combien des fins maintenant dans le jeu À une époque, il y en avait une dizaine. Maintenant, il doit y en avoir beaucoup plus. Ok. C'est ok, je peux attendre. Tu as besoin de temps pour décider. Temps de faire que ton choix est correct. C'est la meilleure choix. C'est bien. Je vais attendre pour que vous décidiez ce qui est la bonne chose à faire. Prenez autant de temps que vous avez besoin. Moi, qu'est-ce que je dois faire Je peux rien faire Ah Hein. Ah. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. Cette porte-là, y a pas de numéro dessus d'ailleurs. Ouais. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. 39 ans tout. Nouveau contenu. Oh, new content. What does that mean, new content? Viens donc. Le jeu me backseat. Clairement le jeu du backseat. Hein. Donc là, c'est vraiment le nouveau contenu hein, que je n'ai jamais fait. Full découverte. Hein. for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Yes, sir. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Do I have tellement d'easter eggs? Sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. C'est cool qu'ils aient eu le même, le même narrateur d'ailleurs. Okay, so far it's an elevator. 
Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Si j'en ai marre de B pour le Prime. Kralon les 11 mois, mais qu'est-ce que je fais? Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we. Should we be moving somewhere or. or... Oh, here we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Aditorine, bien sûr, no spoilo. Hein. Laissez-moi faire. Hmm. Je, de toute façon, moi, je vais tout tenter. Je dois dire, les initial impressions de Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe sont les plus tédieuses. C'est comme si. Oh, ok. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Je suis sûr que tout le long, il va dire Ah, attention, le nouveau contenu arrive, le nouveau contenu arrive. Et en fait, c'est juste ça, le nouveau contenu. All right. All right, let's see. It's. The Jump Circle. Ah. Oh la dinguerie. Oh la dinguerie quoi. Je peux sauter quoi, avant je pouvais pas quoi. Hein Bah oui, je peux plus sauter. Mais je suis con, je vois peut-être. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Bah j'espère bien, oui. Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy... Ça fait réfléchir un peu, là, bien sûr. Il y a un petit côté There is no game aussi. I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Ben, je pense que j'ai pas le choix. Voilà. Tout simplement. Merci, Seraline, pour les 9 ans. Oh. Mais c'est différent. Ouais, normalement, c'était censé être ça. Psst! Stanley! Come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Okay. Okay. Among us. Among us. Among us. Sus. You sussy baka. Satisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be. Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Denring. No, it's Midsommar. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC.
You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was <laughs> solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. The last... It's the last of us. Ay, ay, ay. Smile because it happened. Okay. Ah oui, c'est le fameux succès Don't Play for Five Years. Reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up. Ah merde, si je suis rentré, ça a arrêté le truc. Eh, dommage. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's Don't shoot any reviews except this one. Encompassing the original stand ah, yeah, the was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Ah, je me souviens de ces deux portes. J'ai un truc euh, dans le jeu avec ces deux portes. Here's another moving passage. This time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. Ah non, il it didn't this. need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Je pense que c'est une vraie critique en plus. Donc, du coup, les personnes qui ont écrit ces critiques-là, ils doivent, doivent se taper des grosses barres en vrai en voyant ce truc-là, que ça a été inclus dans leur jeu. Euh... Je peux pas rentrer là. Euh... Faut pas que je revienne en arrière non plus. Oh, I see. These were simpler times, Stanley. Oh, yeah. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. 
I can't even imagine what's been collecting down oh, no. here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh no. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. And funny. I think I'll be you. Tu as des mauvaises critiques. En vrai, des mauvaises critiques, il y en avait pas eu beaucoup. C'est comme tout, on retient que le négatif, hein, bien sûr. Le jeu s'était fait pas mal sucer. Ok, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Un peu. Goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I ouais, ils ont laissé les pseudo. Always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it. Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks on my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Mais si c'était très bien, mec, c'était super. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Cookie neuf. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. A skip button. Not if it means Let's go. These negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Ah. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a... Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, mm. but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, ah. rambling monologue full of un... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh my goodness. Ah, les arbres qui meurent. Talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us. Oui. Horrible. Vite. Attendez. Ah. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed. Their Combien de fois je dois appuyer là-dessus 
the end is never 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 the Putain, mais combien de temps se passe Oh. C'est ultra stylé en vrai. Hein Je trouve ça très très cool. C'est quand même, il euh, y avait une petite plante qui est morte euh, là, et puis maintenant, regardez, hein. la nature reprend ses droits, bien sûr. J'ai rien dit. dessus waouh putain mais le bouton skip quoi co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ah, mais ils ont rajouté ça. Ça n'était pas avant ça. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Oui. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Oui. Ok. Putain, je trouve ça excellent. Pour l'instant, c'est ça très très cool. Merci, lit mes boxes pour les 5 mois. Sano le Prime. Siegfried RSL les 2 mois. Merci beaucoup. La fin du skip button, c'est la preuve du créateur. Ah ouais, Putain, elle est vraiment cool. Hein. C'est vraiment, vraiment nice. Hein. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. OMG. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor the additions? Never the end, Think never of all the, the end. new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. De. De. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. J'aime bien comme les bureaux. 
du début du jeu, ils font tellement bureau euh, standard euh, comme on faisait avant et ça, ça fait vraiment open space de start-up. Euh. TSP C'est-à-dire quoi TSP Waouh TSP is a stand parable, putain je suis trop con. Évidemment que ça veut dire ça TSP, putain. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Ça marche, It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Oh. Je peux m'asseoir Non. Non. Je suis pas un investisseur apparemment. Wow. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Euh... Le bouton qui dit le nom du joueur qui joue au jeu. Here, your name in the game. Entendez votre nom dans le jeu. Okay. Ils vont dire mon nom. Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized oui. and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. <laughs> Here, let's have you roll oh, play today to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, Jim. forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Okay. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Oui. Sleeping and waking as Jim. Si tu t'appelles Jim, tu dois être brain fucked à ce moment totalement. Being ouais. heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Ok, je suis Jim. Je suis Jim. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see, what a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even O M G. Time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Clairement. Let's take a break from the Jim button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the Jim button away. No. Otherwise, Jim. soon you'll start to no. lose all Jim. sense of who Jim. you actually Jim. are. Jim. 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 No, oh, Jim. I'm <laughs> Jim. C'est vraiment sad la commu quoi. Vraiment sad. Vas-y, qu'est-ce qu'il y a d'autre I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Free all, infinite all, infinite all. Red is the new orange. Ah putain. Ah oui, t'avais un truc avec un bébé qui pleure dans le premier, enfin dans le, le jeu original. Horrible.
Oh, le trou sans fond, là, j'ai trop envie d'essayer. Hein. Le trou sans fond, ça a l'air d'être bien, ça. Par ici, le trou sans fond, là Le trou sans fond du maître juteux, là. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. Oui. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite. On se demande pourquoi ça a jamais été fait effectivement. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Bah vas-y hein. On saute hein. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. No, laissons-nous. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. No, no, no. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Ah, si c'est infini, je vais pas tomber, ça va. Laisse-moi, laisse-moi kiffer, juste. Si je peux revenir quand, quand je veux, je peux... la sensation de chute est géniale, là. Stanley, I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain, it is. It's an extremely deep hole. <laughs> I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's oh, yeah. more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look. I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me? Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, bah pas tellement. C'est vraiment très très loin d'être infini même. Up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Moi je suis bien là. Je sais pas vous, moi je suis bien là. Merci le gros steak pour les 4 mois. Tutu 482, les 6 mois. Chatana, les 16 mois. Merci beaucoup. Est-ce qu'il se passe quelque chose si je reste là Ça a clopé en tout cas. Bon, il se passe rien. Hein. Il se passe rien. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my idea. Oh, for heaven! Ah, là ça. I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there, goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did oui. the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Oui. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. Bien I sûr. Mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Ouais. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. <laughs> If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. Bah ouais, là c'est vraiment, c'est un puits quoi. ...standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. Ah. The shame of my life. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. 
Oh, I need more. Who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Barry, is must the be? Um, teleport button not working? You sure? Mary, it must be. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Power? Try it again. That's the mash bar. Still nothing. Well, I suppose. Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could I'm ever ask for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole. No. I get to do literally anything else. No, mais c'est bon. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. No, mais. Allô Allô, je peux sortir du trou, s'il vous plaît Il y a des bruits <rire> Désolé Allez Perception. Waouh! Oh la dinguerie! Attends, je voudrais changer la perception encore une fois. Je change ma réalité. Encore. Ta gueule, ta gueule, ta gueule. Stanley. No. Oh, good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. Okay. I'll be back. No. Toodle pip. You party? Do I have to
Mais non. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. The button that says gym. Il y a plus le trou. Ah, c'était là-bas le trou, non Je sais plus où c'était. Ah si, il y a le trou. Oh. Ok, ça c'est fini. Oh, attends, on va voir autre chose. Jump circle. Ah, mais il m'en reste zéro. Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as oui. well. It's a... Oh wait, you already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. Non. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece. Mais non, mais tu veux me rajouter? Putain, c'était trop bien. Dommage. J'ai quand même envie d'aller voir le trou, hein. Je, je, je retourne le trou, je suis désolé, hein. Comment j'ai envie de voir, hein. Oh non Ils ont fermé le trou. Oh non C'est quoi ça No screenshots. Ok, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Ah, ah. Get well someday or happy 12th birthday? Bah ça, bien sûr. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday, it is. No. Ben non. Yeah. Mais du merch. Maybe I should have gone with no. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Attends, j'avais vu un autre. Et là, c'est quoi ça Le saut de réconfort. Le saut de réconfort. Il y a un QR code. J'ai même pas vu le QR code. J'ai vu des gens en parler, mais je vois pas où il est le QR code. Il, 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 il est où le QR code Il est au merch Ah oui Oui, mais je suppose que c'est pour donner accès à des vrais. Attends. C'est la vraie boutique, je parie. <rire> Attends, merde, je suis pas bien placé du tout. Oui. Ça t'amène sur leur site. Sur le, le site officiel de Stanley Parable 2. Le site du jeu. Tout à fait. Ça mène sur le site du jeu. Ça met une vidéo. C'est un faux site. Oui, c'est un autre info site, effectivement. Non mais attends, je veux le saut de réconfort. Le Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. C'est le cube de portal, hein. vraiment, ouais, c'est ça. C'est un plagiat, c'est un plagiat. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Et si je le prends pas Ouais, encore une fois, il va rien se passer. Hein. Ah, il va rien. 
bien se passer, il faut que je le prenne. Hein. <rire> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Merci beaucoup. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable too. Mais du coup, maintenant, je vais me balade avec le saut, là. Oh la dinguerie. Oh la dinguerie, quoi. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Putain, mais où est-ce que je vais, quoi Je peux aller en haut à gauche, là. Saute Tire Free Achievement C'est où Je suis... Attends, quoi Je suis à 5. This map. Attends, comment c'est foutu Free Achievement, c'est... Là-bas Ah, Free New plus Easy Achievement Ah oui Achievement, get yours right now. Actionnez le levier, récupérez votre nouveau succès, aucune autre étape. Oh la dinguerie. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes, you see, you'll come to this lever and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Ok, perhaps I should have verified. Oh this is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but okay. I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Allez. Allez Combien de fois Combien de fois Donne-moi mon succès Bidié Bidié Au bout de 100 peut-être Peut-être Merci Fonel pour les 5 mois de sub. Anadou les 21 mois. Zoez les 19 mois. Kaylin les 8 mois. Star Diamond le Prime. Merci beaucoup. Kazel DC les 8 mois. Merci beaucoup. On est là. Hein. Rich Galahad pour le Prime. Y'a rien. Ah, je suis deg. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Les objets à collectionner. Can you find them? Collect them all. Ooh. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't know the quoi. intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh 
Okay. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Et où est-ce que je les trouve Elles sont planquées ici ou ailleurs Ou peut-être qu'il n'y en a juste pas Bizarre. Dites rien, bien sûr, hein. c'est une question rhétorique, bien sûr. Of course, Rin. Je t'ai allé là. Un épilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the. Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. J'aurais pu monter par là. Paramètre champion du monde. What is this? Quoi? Paramètre champion du monde. Mon chat m'a juté dessus. Ok mec. Il y a une sortie. Très joli. Hein. Oula. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Bah. Move on now. Bah, je sais pas. En tout cas, j'ai mon saut, quoi. No screenshots. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Ouais, c'est des dingueries, ouais. Exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. We all arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Okay. <laughs> Ok. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of. Ok, never mind. Il a pété. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Ok, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Il y a le levier, hein? Version 2. Rire de droite. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I want to make anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take oh. the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising oh, oui. conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Putain, c'est 12 minutes. Wow. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Attends. 
Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee. C'est littéralement la même chose pour l'instant. Employee number 427's job. Was Luis Antonio. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to the monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was. Six months we had this for the six months. Tio, le subwoofer est maracas. Then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh. Stanley picked up the bucket. Oh, yes, ça. Oh, il y a le saut quoi. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Ah oui, mais là, du coup, j'ai envie de l'écouter un peu parce que hum, s'il y a des trucs nouveaux, euh... là, j'ai envie de l'écouter. quoi. Merci, oh, Frank, pour les 25 mois. Sondage. Allez, vas-y, on va décider ensemble, messieurs, dames. Sondage. Euh... Porte. Droite. Gauche. Évidemment, évidemment, n'hésitez pas à voter. Let's go. Je regarde vos votes avec grande attention, bien sûr. Merde, j'aurais dû mettre une minute au lieu de deux. Copier pour influer, bien sûr, il cause toujours. Les sondages sur Twitch, c'est complètement pipé. Alors du coup, soit je l'écoute et je vais à gauche, soit je l'écoute pas et je vais à droite. Mais en fait, j'ai envie de... Moi, personnellement, je serais allé à gauche pour voir ce qu'il va me proposer, tu vois Merci uh, Kieran Dai pour les 3 mois, merci beaucoup. Merci Yellow Star pour les 4 mois. On peut voter plusieurs fois avec 1000 bits, c'est scandaleux. Ouais, je sais, c'est horrible. Hein. Horrible. Merci Dardou pour le Prime, merci beaucoup. Alors, ça en est où pour l'instant pour l'instant, c'est gauche qui l'emporte, hein. 61%, 39%. Pour l'instant. Ok. Attention. Attention, messieurs, dames. Hein. Il vous reste un peu moins d'une minute, maintenant. Un peu moins d'une minute pour, faire votre dé pour prendre votre décision. Stanley just stood there doing nothing at all. He seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating little detail of his inability to do anything. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. Donc il se passe bien quelque chose, hein, effectivement, quand on fait rien. Attention, plus que quelques secondes. Attention. Attention, et c'est la porte de gauche à 60%. Très bien. On l'écoute. Hein. Je 
Je suis 60% commu. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy, it's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. Ah bon? I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's a place to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. C'est vraiment le cube. Hein. Hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. On peut se battre là. Tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Rien faire. A wide variety of experiences. Il y a une touche pour drop. Non. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Bah, mec, laisse-le moi, s'il te plaît. Le saut. C'est bon? Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. There. Now it's settled. Alors, vous voyez. Attends. Voilà. Property of Stanley. Debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. C'est bon? All right. Ouais. I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. Ce qui est ouf, c'est qu'il a réussi à coller le deuxième autocollant sous le premier qu'il a collé. C'est quand même incroyable. Ah, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Ok. Et maintenant, maintenant c'est à moi, oui. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Moi, je veux bien rester ici, en vrai. Moi, je suis bien là. Hein. Sa voix m'insupporte. Ah, le jeu va pas être fait pour toi. Si je reste là, il se passe quoi hein Je vais rester un peu, hein. Merci, Madazan, pour les 11 mois. Chez All02, les 6 mois, merci beaucoup. Et si j'attends 2 heures, effectivement, dedans, il va peut-être se passer une dinguerie, hein. On sait pas, hein. En just placarding, là. Merci, Street76, pour les 4 mois. Normalement, tu as un succès, tu attends 5 ans. Putain, trop bien. Bon, bah, je pense qu'il se passe rien, là. La merde. Est-ce que je, je sors, hein on est d'accord, je sors, hein. Il faut tous dire non à temps, quoi. Merci, Catalamise, pour les 4 mois. Attends encore un peu. 
En fait, le problème du attend encore un peu, c'est que je me dis, il va peut-être se passer un truc. Et le moment où je vais vouloir sortir, je me dis, et si c'est à la prochaine seconde qu'il se passe un truc Un sub égale 10 secondes dans la salle. Ah, c'est un sub bâton maintenant. Let's go. Un sub 10 secondes dans la salle. C'est un sub bâton quoi ah, Je peux pas rester là-dedans, messieurs, dames. Je peux pas rester là-dedans. Je peux vraiment rien y faire, il n'y a pas de bouton pour le poser en plus. Au pire, j'aurais pu le poser. Hein. Rire de droite. Merci Vanny Semblait pour le sub offert à la communauté Zootoon. Le sub, merci beaucoup, ça fait 20 secondes, hein, bien sûr. Euh, FW Philo euh, qui offre un sub. Il euh, y a plein de gens qui offrent un sub. La Strui Moisy. Mulsan Lyon. Euh, Melios qui offre un sub aussi. Ok. Putain, mais ça marche vraiment les sub-bâtons en fait. Hein. Steam mode pour ça va faire Acid Spacer. Ça marche vraiment. Hein. Désolé YouTube, hein, bien sûr. Rire de droite. Hein. Désolé YouTube, mais je suis obligé. Et, euh, chaque sub, ça rajoute 10 secondes, quoi, bien sûr. Si elles sont le clavier pour le Prime. Merci de Sindri pour les 11 mois. Dépu ou pour le Prime, merci beaucoup. Rire de droite. Hein. Ah, désolé YouTube. Hein. Ah, pardon YouTube. Merci Mulsan Lyon pour le sub offert à Unique Mask. Big B pour le sub offert, merci beaucoup. Rire de droite. Hein. Bob Kids, les deux mois, merci beaucoup. Euh. Un sub égale 5 ans dans le placard. Hein. Merci Redrum59 pour les 4 mois. Légistra, le sub offert. Aceley Art, le prime. ORB MPS, le prime. Mika Facto, le sub offert. Oh, le sub bâton de fou là. Si cause pour le sub offert, merci beaucoup. Oh le sub bâton. Merci Tencha22 pour les 3 mois. Bon, il se passe rien. Hein. Merci Nicolas Berthier pour le prime. Et merci MyLad pour les 18 mois. Dachin Khan, le sub offert. Lord Sandwich, le sub offert. NAM, le sub offert. El Walu, le prime. <rire> oh, C'est vraiment pas un métier facile, euh, streamer, hein, vraiment. Merci Matt Stone pour les 10 sub offerts. Putain, C'est pas facile, vraiment. On subit du harcèlement et tout. Vraiment, c'est un métier difficile de fou. Franchement, les gens qui disent que c'est pas un vrai travail... Euh, c'est incompréhensible, tu vois. À quel moment vous allez comprendre Au bout de combien d'années Là, YouTube, ça fait des années, les gens ils disent que c'est pas un vrai travail. Au bout d'un moment, il faudrait pareil pour les streamers, tu vois. Voilà. La télévision méprise YouTube et YouTube méprise Twitch autant que la télévision méprise YouTube. Au bout d'un moment, c'est un travail qui est difficile. Merci Mulsan Lyon pour le sub offert. Le père du du, le prime. Pakit06, le sub. Genre au 2B, les deux mois. Euh, My Purple Platypus, les deux mois. The Merovagian, le prime. Hello, le sub. Raphaël Pégase, le sub offert. Merci beaucoup. Franchement, c'est un métier qui est pas facile, quoi. C'est la galère. Merci Zad Guy Bob pour le sub, merci beaucoup. Merci Romain Romano pour le prime. Tamael, le prime. Lumichi, les 8 mois, merci beaucoup. Donc au bout d'un moment, euh, merci Pablo El Poncho pour les 20 subs offerts, merci beaucoup. Très généreux de ta part, merci beaucoup. Franchement, hein. Quand je vois les gens dire, euh, mais attends, il y a des gens, ils regardent d'autres personnes jouer à des jeux vidéo. Euh, euh, et même, il y a des gens qui les payent pour ça. Je me dis, mais ça va, c'est bien plus que ça. C'est bien plus que ça, c'est beaucoup plus difficile. Merci Sakuna Yuji pour les 3 mois. Minlay l'année. Gozors le sub. The Waldner les 3 mois. Alan Parsons les 8 mois, merci beaucoup. Non, clairement. Hein. Et si c'était si facile, tout le monde le ferait. Bien sûr. Vraiment pas un métier facile. Hein. Bon, allez. Euh, merci à tous. Merci à tous. J'ai pas respecté les subs. En même temps, quelle idée de donner de l'argent à un mec qui fait du gaming, quoi. Merci Renault pour les 10 subs offerts, merci beaucoup. Merci Nanako... Nan... Nanato Kaoru pour les subs offerts. Et deux subs offerts, merci beaucoup. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Alors moi, je suis tenté d'aller en haut, mais vu que là, on est vraiment 100% commu... Euh... Nouveau sondage. Euh... Rire Escalier... En haut ou en bas Deux minutes, messieurs, dames. Votez. Votez. Patrick Balkany sait qu'il pourra compter sur... Il dit qu'il faut voter en haut. Moi, j'ai envie de l'écouter. Hein. 
Si on a pris la porte de gauche, faut commit maintenant. Il faut monter à l'étage. Si, si on a écouté ce qu'il a dit avant, il faut l'écouter maintenant aussi, quoi. Qu'on soit bien clair. Rire de droite. Arrête les pléonasmes. Est-ce que je dis monter en haut Ouais. C'est pas bien grave, bro. Donc moi, déjà, je vais voter moi aussi. Moi, j'ai le droit de voter aussi. Et je vote en haut. Voilà. Votez en haut, pitié Il faut qu'on commite, là Il faut qu'on qu commite Il faut qu'on soit... Il faut qu'on soit cohérent avec nos choix précédents. Il faut qu'on soit cohérent, messieurs, dames. Rire de droite. Soyez cohérents. Votez en haut. Rire de droite. Allez. Moins d'une minute maintenant. À peu près 40 secondes. À peu près 40 secondes. On peut biaiser cette histoire. Ah, C'est le libre arbitre, bien sûr. Merci Tiny Sung pour le Prime. Merci beaucoup. Rire de droite. Twitch play Stanley Parable. Allez, s'il vous plaît. Votez en haut et tout va bien se passer. Tout est nickel. Rire de droite. Tout va bien se passer, messieurs, dames. OMG. Votez en haut. Vite, votez en haut. Vite, votez en haut. Oh, oh c'est la première fois. Ever. 50-50, parfait 1640 votes pour en haut, 1640 votes pour en bas. Mais, je... Mais du coup, qu'est-ce que je fais Patrick Balkany, Du coup, qu'est-ce que je fais On bouge pas, quoi je, je fais rien, quoi Je peux rien faire et la porte est fermée je peux ni descendre ni monter, le chat m'a dit aucun des deux. Tu as voté Oui, j'ai voté en plus, alors que j'aurais pu apporter ma voix en plus, là. Ma voix en plus pour en haut Bon, bah mon choix m'appartient, c'est ça ce que ça veut me dire. Hein. En vrai, ce que ça veut dire, c'est que c'est à moi de décider au final, et du coup, je vais aller là-haut. Hein. Et ouais, hein. désolé. Hein. Désolé, mais fallait voter. si vous vouliez que j'aille vraiment en bas, fallait voter plus pour en bas. Hein. Désolé, hein. Désolé. Hein. Les toilettes exécutives... Oh C'est nouveau, ça. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Oh You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these... Oh, trop bien, j'en ai trouvé un. ...intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy oh. that sort of thing. OMG. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Oh la dinguerie. Merci Nazo pour les 5 mois PTDR, Cédric les 4 mois. Vous lavez les mains un peu Hmm. Hmm. The extreme bathrooms. Excusez-moi. Ok. Euh... Alors. Hey. Oh non Once again Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster Là, je vois pas de diff. Euh... Even now, In his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's sure. desk. Nor in his bliss, oui, il dit pas du tout la même chose, bien sûr, je sais. Bucket. Did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845? 
but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical... Il est où le trou, là Il est où le trou Il est où le bouton qui dit Jim Oh la dinguerie Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Oh, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. <rire> ok. Ça, ça trouve, le trou, il était en bas. Vous auriez pu voter pour en bas, quoi Putain C'est ouf. C'est ouf. Hein. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Merci, Opox, pour les 26 mois. Oula. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door. Ah, mais oui, il y avait ça. Facility. Mais vas-y, je vais le suivre. Je vais suivre ce qu'il dit. Euh... Il y aura peut-être le bouton qui dit Jim. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. That's like a little different, kind of. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped. Monitored like guinea pigs. Il va y avoir tellement de Easter eggs dans tous les sens dans ce genre de jeu. And it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things, it didn't wish to... Oui, y'a un truc, euh, tu peux arriver au-dessus là-bas à un moment. Je dans le 1. ...in the first place. These questions raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Reste pour le secret. Eh, mais me spoilez pas. De quoi faut que je reste Il manque un numéro, ouais, c'est 104. Enfin, 104 est fired, là. Il y en avait un pas un autre. Et là, il y a un buggé, c'est 234. Et euh, là-bas aussi, 601, je suppose. Ah, mais je peux revenir C'est pas fermé, il y a deux secondes La dinguerie Je peux pas rappuyer Di 
Disco Secrets. Secrets Room 2014. His own life in someone else's control never excuse the puppet counter, his one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation, controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his power to sink in, no, he Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the Bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the Bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. When at last they came to the source of the room's power, Stanley and the Bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Hmm. Soyons cohérents. Je vais quand même vous demander, hein. On ou off Vous avez deux minutes pour voter. Évidemment. Deux minutes. Vous avez deux minutes pour voter. Messieurs, dames, on compte sur vous. Merci Concorad pour le Prime. Zitouni59, le sub, merci beaucoup. La cohérence, c'est l'appuyer sur off, bien sûr. D'ailleurs, je vais voter pour off, moi-même. Hop. C'est voté. Bien sûr. Ça retente un 50-50. Dans tous les cas, si c'est un 50-50, c'est ma décision au final, tu vois. Merci Andromorphia pour les 19 mois, merci beaucoup. Merci Patsy le Poda pour les trois mois, merci beaucoup. Merci Sila Tora pour les 20 mois, merci beaucoup. Faire des 50-50 quand Antoine pose des questions. C'est ça le but du jeu, bien sûr. Of course. Le titre de club, c'est Who Likes to Party de Kevin MacLeod. Ah, mais c'est une musique, musique libre de droit. Kevin MacLeod, c'est un gars qui fait une musique libre de droit, lui, non on en est où dans le sondage, là Bon, putain, pour l'instant, c'est un 50-50 euh, parfait, encore une fois. Va voter, il y a le train de la hype. Même pas C'est le train de la hype approche. Et maintenant, il est là. Grâce à Yolo de Istre, qui a envoyé 100 bits, merci beaucoup. On aura les rediffs sur YouTube et STP. Oui, dès demain, normalement. Euh, le train de la hype cache le sondage. Je pense que si vous cliquez dessus, vous pouvez dérouler... Voilà, c'est quasi fini. Plus que quelques secondes. 10 secondes même pas. 10 secondes même pas pour... Euh... Attention. Le choix de la cohérence, c'est off, messieurs, dames. C'est off qui l'emporte. Ah, quand même, euh, une bonne vingtaine de voix, quand même. C'est off qui l'emporte. Let's go. Let's go, hein. Merci, euh... Edenia pour les 100 bits. Tristou, les 6 mois. Kali GVLVR pour les trois mois, merci beaucoup. Ah oui, ça va refaire. Enfin. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. 
True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and... What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Let me out. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. No. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence. Parce que comme n'importe on va devoir se séparer du du truc, le cube slash saut. Not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Hmm. Au revoir YouTube. Au revoir YouTube.